All right. The most I know is bonjour. I felt my French. Oh, that's all right, Luca. I I appreciate you trying, even. Yeah, Safra is right. Uh, salut is a is a more kind of casual way. Yeah. Gonna love a Sunday, dude. I love me a Sunday, but even more so whenever I have the Monday off also. Kind of like uh, today. I do have Monday off. So, it's a lot more relaxing. Let's just say that. Woo. Oh, that's not what I needed to go, was it? Oh, maybe I needed to do both. I needed to do both to give it like enough. Okay. I had to do both. Well. No, it is like a salutation, yeah. Whoop! Got it. Lots and lots of, like, bad stuff here. Ugh. Ugh. Hack door? Oh, thank God. Uh oh. Because I have to roll the thing. I see. These aliens, man. Oh, whatever they are. Ugh. They're really creepy. Forgot to start a uh, stream in a battle. Yo, look at that boss in there. Damn, it looks badass. Ooh. Looks like the city in the original live action Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh, true cipher. Oh my god. I don't approve of their decoration tastes. Nope. I have to agree with that. It's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty looking. And it grows on everything, man. Ugh. Uh oh. Lots of them on there. Lots and lots of them. Okay, but like, where do I go from here, man? I have to have a plan to escape them once they kind of wake up and stuff. Oh, that? Because you just know they will wake up. Mm. 
Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, I'll bought no. What? When does this turn into The Last of Us? Okay, they're all over there. There's like five tons of them there. Where do I go? I have to sort of figure this out before we jump. <coughs> so... Oh, they saw me. Yeah, they can't can't reach me here. So let to see if I miss anything. What's the back theory of this game? I'm confused. It's like it's like we're on. Like, you start the game, you're kind of, like, not in the city. You're kind of, like, outside the city, and you fall down into it. And it's, like, uh... It's weird. It's, it's like... It's like a giant city in which humans used to live, and now they don't live there anymore. And... Now it's filled with, like, robots. So, basically, the robots that live there are were kind of, like, uh, servant robots, and then eventually, like, you know, like we put AI in them and then like all the humans ended up dying or something. And then the robots kind of were left there alone. Um, and it seems like the city is very, very deep. Like we're, we're like on the slums right now. And like eventually there's the midtown, which seems to be like the middle of the city. And then like eventually I'm assuming there's going to be like a top version of it. And um, the thing is like there's these kind of like creatures, like the, the little ticks. And like this, the kind of like, like, uh, like nasty orange stuff that grows on everything that started kind of appearing in the city and it eats, they eat everything. They eat live, uh, beings and they also eat robots. They literally will eat anything that they can't eat. Um, and so robots are like soup, like, are, are kind of like hiding in the slums now in like a tiny part of it because like everything else is overrun by these, by these guys. And now we have to avoid them too. So it's not just like walking around and talking to robots. It's actually just avoiding these monsters as well. Right. Ugh. Oh, there's the, the memory. Let's get there first. You sing what to do out loud because you know you can't hear. <laughs> nice. Neo, ne Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Oh, so that's what happened. Let's go. Oh, God, that's what happened? Bro, that's not good. These were trash bacterias? Oh, we're not staying there.
I don't know what to do here, man. Oh, it's it's this, it's this. Never mind. Oh God. Big cat though? Oh, dude, yes. Oh, you missed that one, uh, Cypher. Interesting. Cypher, have you started your new job yet? Or you were like, I, I don't remember if you told me you were starting it or you were getting there or like, I don't recall. Oh my God, my dude, there's so many. Well, that doesn't help. There's more. I have to do another round. Oh, God. They can jump high, man. Oh. They're weak. Love it. Nice. Very cool, man. I'm very, very happy for you. Oh, man. That was scary. Oh, the door opens. Nope, never mind. It does not open. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. What does it mean? Was the robot? Look, the view is beautiful from here. Yeah, and it's also terrifying. I remember now the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the Ermitic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now that this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Okay, but like, just counterpoint. Let's not open the city so that these things can't go out and like wreck whatever life is up there. How about that? Yeah, it's five times in size, but it's, like from my understanding, it's like the little robot digitizes the item or something, like like kind of transforms it into data, and then like kind of reconstructs it wherever I need it. So that that's why it's like five times my size, but it actually works. 
At least that's how I rationalize it in my mind, because that's how it looks like. Like whenever we, I was getting like a can of soda or whatever, like it seemed like he was kind of deconstructing it into little cubes. But but I get you though, like that thing is massive. There's no way a cat could just lug that around. Momo, I made it. Where you at, bro? Momo? A note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Oh! Well, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. Oh my god, it is. Oh my. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Oh my. This dude. What are you talking about? It's case sensitive. Are you insane? Oh yeah, it's easy code for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Here's the lock for the window. The code was. Hmm, it was an H, I think. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. And then it was O, or, or was it a zero? Let's see. You got B, dude. B12, you're insane, man. How, how did you remember that code? You be crazy. Oh, look at that. The robots, they stopped like, uh, they're not, they're not like, uh, standing anymore. My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break right now. <laughs> That's what they were doing, just throwing buckets at each other? I thought they were, like, working on something. I love the weather right now. Um, is there any kind of different weather? It seems to me that like you're inside a thing, so like there's no, there's no actual weather anywhere. Is that supposed to hit him? Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Okay, well. Man, Momo's excited. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Baltazar? Momo! I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Baltazar. Or are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost a signal. Can't believe it. Baltazar is alive. E and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Baltazar has made it, there must be a way. Shemus, uh, you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Nice, uh, coat. 
or bucket hat. That is my Amazon passphrase. How did it end up in the game, Poot? How did they treat the little kitty like a human? Yeah, I guess because they don't know any better, right? Like they like they under they probably understand that I'm not a human, but they probably don't know exactly what I am either. They just know I'm not a Zerk. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapons to fight the Zerk. Yo, it's he's Doc's son? A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Uh, Seamus has never been the same since. We know Doc. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. I don't, like, are there more quests here or, like, are we done? I don't presume there's more quests here, like, right? Like, we're just, we're done? Grandma made me this scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. Oh, yeah. Don't ask me, man. I have no clue. Oh, it's a new person. Joxy. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Are we, I mean, we talked to him before. Does he have new stuff? Nah, he's all out, man. Yeah, he's all out still. Yeah, I, I think like all the side quests we could have done here are done. I did do the music completely. You can you can tell I have a little badge on my thing. Look, see, I did a little music badge. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I agree. What up, Guardian? Nah, I don't have anything else. So we did do the music. Hmm. I guess that's it. Well, they... I, I wouldn't say... Well, I mean, they've taken over because there's no more humans. Come on, Seamus. Open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you... I think I have an idea. Want me to infiltrate his house? Because I can probably do that. Oh, well, how convenient. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsiders. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I, don't ask me, bro. I don't know. Like, literally, I just, I just got here. That was it. Maybe that one? Let's 
got to be a code somewhere we can read, though. Dude, I'm just messing up his apartment. Sewer side mission. Oh, my God, Poot. Get out. Damn. I never noticed a digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. So, 2511. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Luca. Have a great rest of your day, man. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll show myself out. <laughs> Love it. Here's the secret lab. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of metal. Total vision in the dark. Reacts to the intense light. Okay, so it's just a matter of like getting light. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, it must be for his Zerk weapon. I thought I was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Meaning it probably worked. Or he's dead. Robots news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh. Well, that's not what you'd call good. Find anything interesting? Uh, not quite. Nothing in there. Why could I like throw the box on there? Why well, I just pushed the box in the ground? It just I made it disappear. Defluxer blueprint concept: light-based handgun, low priority visual appearance, size decibel emitted, uh, high priority test in real condition, objective twenty zerk destroyed per second. Damn, dude, per second. Seems like a lot. Oh, it's probably this box then. Broken tracker. Bro, let me talk to you. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. I know exactly who's going to help. The guy I give the puncho to. The hint was the trans on the wall. This of the clocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. true. Oh, this. Time will tell. Oh. Well, I mean, I figured it out on my own. I didn't even need the hint. <laughs> I didn't even need it. I was like, eh. Wait. That's not it.
No. Not what I need. That's what I need. Listen, my dude. Elliot, I need this. Oh, wow. That's great. Tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. We can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update. And one more thing. Voila. Nice. There you go, little one. Good luck. Finding who you are looking for. Okay. So the thing is... Um, who do we bring it to? Is this supposed to go to... Um, Momo? Or... Sheamus? Maybe it is Sheamus? Sheamus is like... Um, Wait. Because he's the one looking for his father, and now it's fixed. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. They don't, I love that they don't question how I fixed it as a cat. They're just like, oh, you fixed it yourself. Great. Good job. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my, where my Papa went. I know where he went, by the way. I saw the entrance to the sewers. It's like near um, the musician. There was literally a trap door on the ground there. Maybe it's the big door here. The door that, like, uh, maybe it's that door. Oh, it is that door. Okay, that makes even more sense. Okay. Cool. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Yeah, but we don't have the weapon. So, like, we're going in without a weapon? That don't seem safe. Bro, they're right there. That is dangerous as all heck. Like, close the door right now. Otherwise, everybody in here is doomed. Hold on. He, he did close the door. Thank God. 